Good morning. Good morning. Do you want to speak to Bob first? Uh, yes. In our meeting with Bonapage and Stone last week, uh, he gave us some quick estimates as to costs, and I don't have them in front of me. Uh, they were given in, in words and not in writing. Um, but the thought was that wall that you wanted to put up, can maintenance put that wall up? Sure. Okay. Then we'll take that out of the uh, rehab or the old nursing home if it gets to that point. Was there any other items in there um, that you wanted in the maintenance department? <coughs> you have your own office. Yeah, the office is fine. Uh, the only thing I wanted to do is take the sink that's in there, which is a pumped sink. Um, it's pumped up overhead to find a drain in another part of the building. I wanted to make that a gravity drain, which would meant some concrete work. But they're going to be doing a lot of concrete work if uh, they do any rehabilitation to the laundry. So I think that that could be included in that time. Okay. It's not necessary, but uh, long term, I think it would be beneficial. You take okay. the pump out of the equation. We don't have to worry about um, a pumped sink. Okay. Um, you're aware of the equipment that would come out of the jail and the switch? Uh, is it a washer and dryer that's coming out of the jail to move over? That's... Jason's gone. Yes, uh, we had uh, discussed a washer and a dryer, and in turn we would give him back the, uh, the household washer that we have. Okay. As long as this meets with Jason's approval. Yep. Okay. I mean, if they're not using it, we might as well. We can certainly make our laundry more efficient. Okay. Well, the uh, wall was the important thing. So there's no other thing other than the sink in the maintenance department? No, not really. Okay. Not really. I, 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 um, again, it includes walls, but I want to make a secure area for medical records inside the building. I want to get them out of the uh, storage units outside and bring them inside. But that's just a matter of uh, another wall with a door that I can lock. Separate. Okay, it's something maintenance can build, though. We, we don't have that so much. We have funding for it, yes. Okay, we should be able to keep funding down if you do it, mm -hmm. if we do it in house. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, I guess those are the questions I had for you. And how is the new building going as far as maintenance? Fantastic. Um, we're still, you know, it's, it's a learning curve. It's, it's going to be a long learning curve still, but uh, uh, methods are coming into place. Um, Everything, everything, everything is, is going are we well. In, are we at full strength as far as staffing? No, we're still down one body, and I'm still trying to adjust to the new building before I figure out where I'm going to put uh, this new body. I don't want to just haphazardly hire one. I think that would be a waste of money. Okay. Um, I want to make sure that there's an actual place to put them before I hire them. Okay. Okay. There, there are a few adjustments that we're still making that... Um, Eventually, will necessitate that body, but at the at the at the very moment, okay, I don't need it. Okay, go ahead, Sandy. Okay, today we have um, 103 residents. One of the residents is on a medical leave of absence. Uh, three are Medicare residents, 20 private pay residents, eight Medicaid pending residents, and 71 Medicaid residents. Um, Patty Kane uh, from our education office is working on several programs for the community. Uh, one is partnering with uh, Central New Hampshire VNA and Hospice uh, in November, and one is uh, November 2nd, a grief during the holidays, uh, and also what does it mean when the doctor wants to know if you, you would like care and comfort for your loved one, and that's on, on November 1st. We're also partnering with the Alzheimer's Association, presenting a series uh, December 1st, uh, it's entitled, It Starts with Communication, and December 8th, Understanding Behaviors. And again, this is not for, this is not for uh, caregivers in the facility, it's for those in the community. And I think everyone could, um, mm -hmm. if they're caring for a loved one, could um, make use of those, um, how, those presentations. How will people in the community know that this is? This, this will be in the newspaper, okay. And it's also in our newsletter. And I believe that that's, that's how it's advertised. 
Um, I spoke a couple of months ago in regard to our partnership with uh, Region 9 Vocation, Vocational Technical Center from in uh, Wolfboro. Mm -hmm. um, we have spoken with Mary Wakefield, who is the clinical director, and um, I do have a letter of agreement. I'm sorry, I, I left it on my desk this morning. But essentially, the students will be coming Tuesday through Friday at specified periods of time. Um, they're covered by liability <laughs> insurance. They meet the health requirements. Um, and it would be exciting to have the students um, uh, as far as um, learn their skills or, or certainly um, solidify their, their clinical skills working toward an LNA certification in our facility. Um, we've, we've talked about it in the past, I think two years ago. The transportation was somewhat of an issue, but um, mm -hmm. they certainly um, would like to try it. Mary uh, Wakefield, the clinical instructor, who's an, an RN, will be coming to our facility shortly to do some shadowing and feel, uh, you know, find her way about the facilities as she prepares to bring the students. Um, we're ready to order our slings for the hoist. Um, what we attempted to do is we ordered three slings um, because we didn't want, we wanted to see if we could adapt what we had for slings um, mm -hmm. for our hoist. The slings that we have, which um, sort of goes around the resident so we can lift the resident, has uh, metal um, parts, um, uh, brackets, and we cannot adapt those to our, to our hoist, so we will need to order slings. Um, New England Medical uh, had a price of between $4,000 and $6,000 for the slings that we were looking to use. We did find one other uh, provider, which was Direct Supply, uh, and their total for uh, 20 slings was $2,101.80 and a shipping charge of $19. So we're asking, uh, I did speak to Randy Remick to verify that that, um, that was within our equipment budget, and he mm -hmm. said yes, it was, and that was last week. Um, so we're asking for uh, $2,120.80 uh, um, uh, to be allocated f uh, in, our, in that equipment portion of our, um, <coughs> um, the new building. Okay, now does this cover, we have lifts, capability, tracks, I should say, in all our rooms, and this is going to take care of those 18 or 20 that will that that will take care of all of the all of the hoists that we presently have so okay. that the issue is that we're able to wash them they will be available on the units um, to care for the residents needs okay and again they're the they're the slings that are applied to the uh, the hoist which allows you to lift the resident or okay. reposition the resident so they're compatible with the hoist that we yes, have yes yes they are okay Anybody would like to make a motion to approve that? Uh, $2,121.80? I'll move to approve the purchase of the hope of the slings for $2,120.80. And then the shipping is $19. Well, yeah, that, that's included. Oh, that's included. Yeah. Okay. I'll second the motion. Any further discussion on the, mo on the motion? All those in support of the motion say aye. 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 So voted then. Go ahead. I had an um, urgent equipment need um, that I have to um, uh, bring forward. We had a bari bariatric resident who no longer can stand. Um, the, our manual Hoyers and House do not support a uh, weight of over 425 pounds. That, that's including our, well, our manual and or our electronic hoist, our, our new hoist. Um, the hoist, uh, what I ended up doing was um, having a, getting an emergency uh, rental of a hoist. That says five pounds, but it, it, it goes up to 525 pounds. Um, the amount, um, though, was 450 for the month. Uh, that was the only lift that I could um, per, uh, um, wrap my hands around at the time. That, that's short term. The longer term is I have nothing in house. Um, the hoists go up to 425 pounds, um, and I think in good faith we felt as though that that would service our needs. Um, but we need one other. We need a larger, for the maintenance of this individual, we need a larger hoist or hoyer lift. So the purchase of the refurbished hoist, which I'm using now, uh, the, the, the cost would be $1,500. The rental fee would be put toward the purchase. So that would be an additional um, $1,005 um, uh, uh, 
$1,050 with, uh, with the rental. A new hoist from the company that we have our other hoist from would be $3,500, and that's, that's bringing our, um, the weight limit up to 525 pounds for the actual motor itself and or a new um, manual bariatric Hoyer lift um, and that the Hoyers run from $2,600 to $3,100. So you're really looking for $1,005 for uh, a refurbished one? Uh, $1,050 for a refurbished $1, one. $1,050. Yes, that okay. is my. Now, the conversation before. Um, I did not have anything in my line item for new equipment. So then you can ask me, well, where is it coming from? <laughs> Go ahead, you, know, <laughs> you know, I can tell you that my, my um, uh, this is an urgent need. I have, um, I could put it under the medical supplies and service line, which I have still have money in, but I would be foolhardy to tell you that I have an additional $1,500 in that line because I've, you know, I've, I'm using it. I mean, I, from different lines, I could scrimp $1,500 from but I can't tell you that I can, um, you know, I have, I, I don't have any money in my new equipment line under, under nursing department. So where are you recommending that the money come from? Well, I do have extra money here, and I can look at education right now and say that I have money that I have not spent, that I could take that uh, $1,500 out of there or transfer. But again, I'm, I'm trying to to ask you where I should where I should be uh, what I should be doing um, in this department it's a necessity this is not a luxury um, I need it for patient resident care this if you if you get the one that you're referring to how, how what weight limit does that have 550 pounds and this is strictly a uh, um, what I want to say. This is for a manual thing and not the track system. No, the track system the track won't system. hold it. It is? The, this, the, the refurbished uh, unit that I've rented is on the track. Will fit on the track? The track That's is what we're using now. Yeah. Okay. The track will support it. You need only one for now? We need one for now, and then I will look further onto the budget later on. But, and again, we had no idea that we would need this at the time when we were building the building. And that's my question. Right. Um, given that this came up at this point, even if we look at the same person, is there a possibility that this person could outgrow this one? I don't believe so. But there's no, there are no guarantees. I, I understand. So we're, uh, down the road, we're looking for another one of these? Well, down the road, we're hoping at some point to increase, the, and I think this is our plans as we assess our needs to increase hoists. It could be one a year. It could be through the, the Friends of, of Mountain View. It could be any kinds of fundraising things. I think we're hoping to, I, I know we're hoping to increase the number that we have. Yeah. Um, if it was a sense of just needing another hoist, I could move it from out of rehab with a lesser usage right now into the resident uh, room mm -hmm. that we need it in. The problem is, is that 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 does not sustain the amount of of, um, of weight that I need to lift, mm -hmm. and I certainly don't want to end up in a workers' compensation issue or in a resident safety issue. Either. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, I I can't support um, a rental for you four hundred and fifty dollars a month right. when we can buy one for fifteen hundred. Well. The four hundred and fifty dollars will will take. I know, I know that, yeah. but I mean, if we didn't buy the refurbished right. one, we'd have right. four hundred fifty dollars a month every month. Absolutely, and that yeah. doesn't seem right. Um, the four hundred twenty-five pounds, what they put in mm -hmm. the track, mm -hmm. uh, that is standard. What they put up in? to we we felt we there were there were different size motors and different size um, hoists that we could have we could purchase. And looking at it, and looking at what it, what is the standard, we felt to up to four hundred and twenty-five or fifty would certainly meet what our needs would be as we looked across other homes, um, and felt confident confident with that. But there's always. Yes. Um, so when do you have this resident came in? The resident has been with us. It's this not a new resident. Not a new resident. 
um, suddenly he was no longer able to um, wait bare. So therefore it necessitated the need for So you already had a resident and you felt comfortable just to go with 425 pounds? Yes, and I, I'm not going to get into the specifics of the condition. Yeah.